March the 20th, 2024. Guys, a couple of videos ago, I did one called The Turning, and we were starting to see some changes in the attitudes between the Democrats and some of the Democratic leaders, and uh, from judges to the top of the hill. And uh, I think we're starting to see what may be a major change, a major shakeup, and it could be a lot of people getting thrown under the, under the bus because maybe they have uh, outworn their usefulness, if you understand what I'm saying. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of what's going on live today, started this morning on March 20th. And uh, C-SPAN has it. They have segments, and then you can click live and go to it. And then there's Fox, there's Forbes. Different people are showing like 10 or 15-minute segments. And uh, you can go from segment to segment. Just go to Forbes again, Fox News, or C-SPAN. And you can get the entire thing. I think it's very interesting. And the, we're definitely seeing a turning here now. I don't know what's going to happen out of this. But um, in trying to stay apolitical on the subject, but it definitely looks like a change is here. And what will come out of it is going to be very interesting Will it be a major event that changes a lot of things politically all of a sudden? And then something ha or someone has to step in, maybe declare some type of order, postpone election, some type of, again, black swan type event. Don't know. Watch the rest of this, and uh, again, I'll put a link to it, and you can go, again, segment to segment or watch it live and then go back and watch the different segments. We're watching it. Guys, you watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe. Time's expired. Before I recognize uh, Mr. Palmer, I'd like to enter into the record the testimony of Tony Bobolinsky with the committee on February 13th, 2024. It corrects the record of uh, Representative Garcia's, who did not provide your entire testimony. Uh, on page 147, you told the committee about your understanding of who invited you to the events referenced by Mr. Garcia. So without objection, I'd like to enter into the record the entire uh, transcribed interview of Tony Bobulinski. And Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter for the record an article from today's Daily Beast entitled, Texts Reveal More Russia Ties for Key Anti-Biden Witness Bobulinski. Okay, Daily Beast. Without objection. Chair now recognizes uh, Mr. Palmer from Alabama for five minutes. Mr. Bobolinsky, I have very limited time and I want to get through a lot of information, so please answer these questions with a yes or no, if, if you don't mind. You have met Joe Biden, uh, isn't that correct? Correct. Uh, in fact, you had a meeting with Joe Biden, isn't that correct? Two of them. One of those times was before the Milken Conference in Los Angeles, May of 2017, is that correct? It was during the Milken Conference. You provided a great deal of documentation to this committee. I want to show you some messages between you and Hunter Biden be on the screen here in May of 2017 before uh, you first had a meeting with Joe Biden. These are messages between you and Hunter Biden dated May 2nd, 2017. Do you recognize these? I do. At the bottom, Hunter wrote, Dad, not in now until 11. Let's me and um, Jim meet at 10 at Beverly Hilton where he's staying. Jim is James Biden, President Biden's brother. Is that correct? Correct. The next set of messages is, uh, if you put those on screen, is between another business associate of Hunter Biden's and you. His name is James. Do you recognize it? I do. At the top, you write, about to meet Hunter, Jim, and I guess Joe at Beverly Hilton Hotel. Joe is now President Joe Biden. Is that correct? Correct. This chat between you and Joe Biden, Joe Biden's, uh, Jim Biden, uh, Joe Biden's brother, you write to Jim, great to meet you and spend some time together. Please thank Joe for this time was great to talk. Thanks, Tony B. You met with Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and Jim Biden the night before the Milken Conference in 2017. Is that correct? I did, and Jim Biden perjured himself by trying to deny that Thank meeting. you, Mr. Bobolinsky. That was at the Beverly Hilton, uh, correct? Correct. You can provide more details around that meeting. What was the purpose of that meeting? I, I didn't ask for the meeting, um, so I wish Hunter Biden was sitting next to me and he could under oath describe it, but <clears throat> the only reason why I was meeting with Joe Biden <clears throat> and the only reason why I was there is because I was the CEO of the enterprise that they were putting together with the Chinese company CFC. So can you give me a little more detail about what was discussed in the meeting? 
Well, as I said earlier, before Joe Biden showed up, uh, Hunter and Jim Biden uh, coached me, asked, said a sort of outline that we wouldn't go into a lot of details. So through the 45 to 60 minute meeting I had with Joe Biden, I think it was about 10.40 p.m. after he flew across country, we talked about my background, my family's military background, the different business ventures I'd done around the world, the family I worked with. Joe spent time talking about his family, some of the tragedies that they had lived through. And, um, and at a high level, Hunter actually introduced me to Joe because before Joe came and sat down with us, Hunter said, hey, give me five to 10 minutes. I need to read my father in on it. So when you're referencing Joe and Hunter's father, you're referencing President Joe Biden. I am? Correct. Uh, these four images, uh, uh, well, in this message you sent to James again, you said you spent more time with Joe and Jim this morning. And to be factually correct, that's President Joe Biden and, and James Biden, his, his brother. Also saw them last night, including Hunter. These four images show a pretty clear record of your meeting with Joe Biden in, in May of 2017, Mr. Bobulinski. Hunter Biden, during his transcribed interview, testified that the meeting did, in fact, take place. And after being asked, did Mr. Bobulinski meet with your father during the trip, Hunter stated he met with him in the lobby of the hotel. When asked who attended the meeting, Hunter replied, my uncle and myself. But when asked whether the meeting at the Beverly Hilton between Joe Biden, Jim Biden, Hunter Biden, and Tony Bobulinski took place, Jim Biden testified, absolutely not. These stories don't match up. Mr. Chairman, Joe Biden, uh, Jim Biden also told the committee that Joe Biden did not meet the Chinese businessman Yu Jingming. Rob Walker, by known as a friendly witness committee, said the opposite. So, Mr. Chairman, it appears to me that there are material inconsistencies between the witnesses' testimony. These witnesses' statements appear to me to be irreconcilable. In short, Mr. Chairman, someone appears to be lying to the committee. The inconsistent testimony seems to come from Jim Biden, the president's brother. Uh, lying to Congress is a serious offense, Mr. Chairman, a criminal one, in fact. And if the Bidens or anyone else uh, has come before this committee and lied to this committee, I strongly encourage the committee to pursue criminal referrals uh, to the Department of Justice. One last thing that I want to ask, and uh, Mr. Bobulinski or Mr. Galenis, have either of you heard of any offer of a pardon for anyone involved or associated with or a partner to the Biden Family Enterprise Corruption Investigation? I'm sorry, that was a question. Have, have, have I heard you heard of anyone being being suggested that a pardon might be in order for anyone associated with this enterprise? I, I have not. Thank you, Mr. Bobolinski. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.